Hello, hello, hello. Lisa Zimmer here today. Hope everybody's having a good day. Let's talk Valentine's. Who's ready to talk essential oils and intimacy? Essential oils and libido. Essential oils and fertility health. It's going to be a good day. Let's put the kiddos away today. I know a lot of you like to follow along. Hey, Mandy Mandy. All right, so today's video is not kid friendly. So we'll give everybody a few minutes to find a place for the kids or know that this will be recorded and I'll repost it and you can watch it later. Hello, hello, Sadie. All right, so. Today's video is intimacy and essential oils, libido, fertility health, all that fun stuff, not for kids. We're going to give you the inside scoop on what you can use for Valentine's Day tonight to celebrate. How do we use doTERRA? for sexual health. So put the kids away. Today is a no kiddo zone. All right, so let's start with a couple basics, um, things we've been talking about, and I'll wrap up a couple of those topics. Hopefully a lot of you are still doing the 30-day cleanse. This actually ties into our topic today of sexual health, libido, fertility, support, etc. So for women, especially, super, super, super important um, if you are working on your fertility health to do a 30 day cleanse and kickstart your journey. So, um, it is not unusual for people to do the 30 day cleanse and within 30 to 90 days have success with their fertility health. So, why is that? The 30-day cleanse helps reset your system, helps clean out all kinds of pipes. It's not a rush to flush kind of, um, <laughs> I'm reading your comments, Mandy made me laugh. It's not a rush and flush kind of cleanse, it's a reset your system and clear out all kinds of pipes. So Mandy says, I got my passion oil and Lang Lang on her nightstand all ready to go for tonight. So we're going to talk about that. Happy Valentine's Day. A bunch more of you are joining me. Please have the kids um, go in the other room or rewatch this back later because today's topic is not kid friendly. So if you're watching me, you are currently on my Facebook group, Yay Oils Public Education, Y-A-Y-O-I-L-S, Public Education, where I educate the public, anyone and everyone, about doTERRA products, how we use them, and then a few other products. If there's um, something that doTERRA doesn't have that I love, I like to share it with you as well. And then also, we reload these to YouTube. If you're not on our YouTube channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Lisa Zimmer. And um, you can watch these. You can share those videos with anyone. You can invite your friends here. So Mandy has a great point about why we want to do the 30-day cleanse on a regular basis to improve our sexual health. Toxins impact your hormone regulation drastically. I had a little statistic from um, Norwex on the dangers of um, environmental toxins for men. So a lot of men are the culprits and the suffering for the fertility health because of all the toxins they're exposed to, whether it's chemicals for uh, lawn care, chemicals in their job, environmental toxins um, for men as well as women are doing horrific damage um, to sexual health. That's why we have such a high um, increase in infertility rate. All right, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about... Hopefully everybody's doing the 30-day cleanse. A lot of you were doing it January 28th to February 28th with us. You'll be um, getting ready to change up and 
plan for the last 10 days of the cleanse and you change your products every 10 days, just a couple changes. I'll post that graphic later today so you can get ready for that. For those of you um, doing the cleanse and you don't have doTERRA's white bottle Zendocrine Complex, I'm going to post a link for a good substitute. This is a high quality milk thistle. So I'll post the link for it. It's nano emulsified um, milk thistle for immediate, effective, superior delivery. So I will post this. doTERRA is out of the Zendrican white bottle complex. One of the ingredients in it is milk thistle. Um, it's not a perfect replacement for the Zendrican complex because our Zendrican complex does a lot more, but you can't order it individually right now. You can only order it um, in the cleanse kit. So if you're doing the cleanse, um, you can replace that with a milk thistle. All right, so, um, and I'll post the link for this one when I'm done. When I'm done, I post recipes, um, links to products that you can get, etc. cetera. All right, so how do we get our doTERRA and get our um, intimacy back in action, right? So if you don't have doTERRA yet, go to the pinned post at the top of this page and it tells you how to get your own doTERRA account. You want your own doTERRA account. That's how you get the products cheaper. You can get them cheaper when you order um, through the company through a wellness advocate. So you want a wellness advocate, someone like me and doTERRA, who's going to help you get your own account, get you into Facebook groups, and teach you how to use your products, okay? And so go to the pin post at the top, see how to do it, and contact the person that you want to help you moving forward with your doTERRA, okay? So they can help you get started, and they can tell you about the specials and the best deals going on right now. All right, talk about that. I got a, I got a ton of products to talk about today that are super important for um, intimacy, fertility, libido, all that good stuff. So we have a saying in doTERRA, right? Everybody lang lang tonight. So you know that um, funny song, wang chung, right? Everybody's gonna wang chung tonight. Nope, everybody's gonna lang lang tonight. So this was the first oil that I heard about for sexual health, for libido, right? And so my very first recipe for it in doTERRA, um, I gave to a friend of mine, we were brand new, right? And the husband walks in and he's making fun of our snake oils and he's like, hey, you got anything for the bedroom? And I'm like, yep. And we looked it up and we whipped it up and I got a report back within 24 hours that she could buy any doTERRA she wanted because Lang Lang and Wild Orange were a hit. So how did they use it? So they took 10 drops of each and they put it in a 10 milliliter roller. You can get these uh, from doTERRA. You can get these just about anywhere now, but doTERRA has the really nice ones. They just came out with these a year ago. The really awesome roller ball that doesn't leak. Okay, so in here, 10 drops Lang Lang, 10 drops Wild Orange, and top it off with your coconut oil. And roll it on the lower abdomen, inner thighs, downtown Julie Brown, for both, for both him and her. So why does that work? Well, a couple things associated with intimacy. So what prevents a lot of people from um, feeling intimate, uh, stress, not being able to relax, especially for women, and for men, circulation. Right, so Wild Orange is positive, uplifting, and helps people relax. Lang Lang does the same thing, right? So I'm not going to get super sciencey on you here today. I just want to give you some great tips. And uh, so I want to read some more oils that are good. I got all kinds of books here in front of me today, so bear with me. Right, so Lang Lang and Wild Orange. What I like you to do as well, right? You get those oils, you order those oils, but I also like you to grab a book and see what else they're for. So I use my oil magic book. So that way when Valentine's Day is over, you know why you wanna keep using those. So that is actually my mom's recipe. <laughs> I love that I'm sharing that one um, for maintaining healthy blood pressure for her. So um, I've never told her it's for libido too. 
I don't plan on talking about that with my mother. All right, so Lang Lang. Why is the Lang Lang so helpful um, in general, but also for libido? It's hormone balancing, right? So it helps balance your hormones. Um, for low libido, apply one to two drops to your pulse points and reproductive reflex points. You can Google that. Diffuse it during intimacy or use in a massage. So you can also take your coconut oil. You can take your unscented doTERRA lotion. And you can add those oils to it. Put your lotion or coconut oil on your hand. Put a couple drops of each and do an uh, intimate massage. Lang Lang helps with healthy blood pressure. Apply it to the bottoms of your feet or you can take it in a capsule daily. My mom just uses that roller. She rolls it on her neck, on her wrists, over her heart. Lang Lang is also good for fertility support. Massage one to two drops over your abdomen and reproductive reflex points. So we like to keep it simple here, right? So all those are different ways to use the oils. I do rollers and sprays all day long, super simple. I make a roller. Lang Lang and Wild Orange is going to be great for hormone balancing, libido, healthy blood pressure, fertility health, um, heart health. It's good for a skin tonic, right? You can put it all over your skin. So if you have um, challenges with any of these topics, just use that ruler every day. It's not like if you wake up and roll it, you're going to want to have sex with someone, right? It's for enhancing the mood when you want to be in the mood. But it's also for all of those other topics. I want to hear from the brave ones um, about what oils you love to use in the bedroom. All right, so we covered Wild Orange and Lang Lang. So what are some super simple ones ready to go? This oil is on sale for 10% off this month, so Terra Passion. It comes in the pre-made roller and the individual oil. So it's great to diffuse. Put this one in your diffuser. Roll this one everywhere. It smells amazing. So one of the key ingredients in it is, I believe, cinnamon. Yep, cinnamon. So cinnamon has a warming sensation and helps with circulation. So as we talked about for men, especially, well, women and men, we got to get some circulation going down there, right? So it works for men and women. You're going to find a lot of recipes online for oils in the bedroom for cinnamon. I can't believe I'm doing this topic today. For cinnamon and peppermint. And they say some of the recipes say apply it straight. Some of them say apply it diluted. You are not going to find cinnamon and peppermint on my recipe pages. And here's why. Um, I'm super sensitive to both. So I created a recipe page. You can find this for your intimacy on lisazimmer.net forward slash shop. And other than the small amount of cinnamon that's in some of the blends, I don't have any recipes on here for um, cinnamon and peppermint, right? Because those can be sensitive for a lot of people. Cinnamon's a hot oil, right? So I don't want someone reading a recipe, seeing cinnamon um, for intimacy and putting it somewhere where it's going to burn like the dickens, right? Because you can't control if you're making a massage blend or a massage oil, you can't control where that's all going to go. And let me tell you folks, you don't want it to go everywhere, right? So cinnamon and um, peppermint. So I have to heavily dilute both to use either of them. And honestly, cinnamon is so hot for my sensitive skin that I don't use it topically except like in the passion oil and on guard. Um, it's already in there in super small amounts. All right, so a safety tip. Good point, Susan. You do not want to use essential oils with prophylactic prophylactics, right? So no essential oils with condoms. You don't want to use coconut oil. You don't want to use any of these products with condoms, okay? Um, only water-based products with that. So super important. You know that tip unless you want to have a baby nine months from Valentine's Day. All right, so we talked about cinnamon. So how do I use cinnamon in my daily life? Because I like to use a lot of these oils we're talking about. I just don't use it topically. Cinnamon's in my water, right? So what's cinnamon good for? Cinnamon helps balance blood sugars, helps with um, balance cortisol, and cinnamon. So I just look up in my book, right? 
Cinnamon's great for blood sugars. It's great for your immune system. It's great for your sex drive. Mm -hmm. um, use heavily diluted in a massage or diffuse it. So I'm a fan for the cinnamon of diffusing, drinking it in my water because of my super sensitive skin, right? So, um, oh, that's so crazy. Susan just said, Aroma Touch is our go-to for everything in the bedroom. Easy squeezy lemon, easy peasy lemon squeezy, as Lisa would say. Susan knows me well. And so I was just thinking about bringing Aroma Touch in because there are two oils that are for me and what I've learned from a lot of people, um, two oils, two of the most important oils for relaxation and stress relief and that is what women have the biggest issue with aroma touch topically put some on your hands and smell it put it on your shoulders and back of neck and relax and grapefruit in your water and you'll notice every video i always have cinnamon and grapefruit in my water today i have cinnamon grapefruit red mandarin if you're gonna get a new account this month, you can get this free. Lemon and lime. So I know three of those five oils are good for libido and sexual health. So um, at I'm gonna be 47 next week. Who doesn't need help with that? So cinnamon, 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 cinnamon. So if you're gonna use cinnamon topically because you read it's good for the bedroom, make sure that you heavily dilute or just use it in your diffuser, right? So red mandarin, we learned last week, it is in the oil magic book, and we learned last week what red mandarin's for. I'm drinking it in my water for weight management. It helps with stomach health. It's uplifting and energizing, so I drink it all day. It's great for digestive support if you have anything digestive whatsoever. Red mandarin applied topically is great for cellulite. This great antioxidant. And I swore I read it was um, good for sexual health. Probably another book. Yay. So red mandarin in my water every day. If you have trouble going to the bathroom, you can apply it topically over your abdomen. Drink it in your water. All right. So what's next? So this is a fun new um recipe. I shouldn't say new. I talked about it a couple months ago, but Berga Oh My, right? So this oil's got a new name, not bergamot, Berga Oh My. This one's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Coconut oil, couple drops of bergamot for her on her spot. Increase the circulation. I don't know what else to say about that, that doTERRA is not going to make me take this video down. <laughs> so just do it. This goes directly on downtown Julie Brown, ladies. Bergamot. Berga, oh my. Right? So it gets the blood flowing where it needs to go. Can't believe I'm doing this video today. You guys are welcome because... This video is killing me today. If my mom sees this, I'm going to die. Caitlin says, how do you use cinnamon in your water without burning your mouth? A straw. So get a stainless steel straw. All right. Berga, oh my. So same thing with geranium. I don't love this. Where'd my geranium go? I forgot to bring in geranium, I think. I don't love the smell of geranium. So when I heard that bergamot, berga, oh my, does the same thing, I was all over that because I'm obsessed with bergamot. So back to the same thing, folks. Geranium and bergamot are also good for relaxation and stress relief. And that is when that is a woman's biggest issue is being able to relax, shut off her brain, and enjoy the process, right? Because we're so busy trying to control everything. All right. I'm reading comments here. Um, someone asked if red mandarin was going to be a permanent part of doTERRA's product line, and I don't have any idea. All right, so this is a super great topic. People are thanking me already in the comments about talking about this topic today, especially for those of us um, in our 40s and 50s when our um, libido starts to slow down. A lot of it has to do with stress. So if you look up these individual oils, you're going to see almost all of them help with stress relief. Got a great tip from a friend this week. 
Her magic oil for the bedroom is vetiver. So how does she use it? She uses it for the relaxation components so she can just stop her brain. She has a personality like mine. We like everything to be just so, everything researched, everything perfect. And that is really difficult for people like us to relax, All right? So her bum bum chicken bum bum oil is vetiver. She likes to put it in the bath, so a great way to do this is 10 drops of vetiver. I have mine in a dropper bottle. You know, I've become obsessed with dropper bottles because vetiver is super, super thick. And if I had to wait, I don't know if you can see that in there. If I had to wait for those drops to drop out, I would stab my eyes out. And so I just got a 15 milliliter, I think this is 15 milliliter, dropper bottle off of Amazon, and I put my vetiver in the dropper bottle. Super thick. See how thick that is? Love it. So 10 drops of vetiver in one cup of some salts and throw that in your bath. Vetiver has become one of my favorite oils at night for relaxation. It is in the holiday peace oil, and that's how I started discovering my love for vetiver. I diffused holiday peace all throughout. Well, I'm still diffusing it, but um, I uh, love it. It made me relax. Um, watch a little Outlander, didn't hurt as well, ladies and gentlemen. Find your little Outlander obsession on um, stars on Amazon Prime. All right, so you can get lavender touch oil free this month. Tomorrow is your last day to place your monthly rewards order. That's like our monthly subscription box, our wellness box. And you don't have to order monthly, but we all do so that we get this free stuff, right? And then I get 30% um, back on all my orders. You start out at 10%, you work away at 30. So doTERRA is no dummy. They made lavender, the free oil, and passion, the 10% off oil, right? Because what have we already talked about today? Calming, that's the lavender. Women need to shut their brain off, right? So roll it behind your ears, back of your neck over your heart, on your wrists, and smell, ladies. We have got to freaking relax. And then passion to help um, hormones and get in the mood. Uh, diffuse that passion. All right, what else do we have here? I want to hear in the comments what you love. Angela says she loves my flowers. Thank you. My darling husband came home for lunch and brought me those flowers. All right, so another great way to use um, vetiver is putting it on the back of your neck. So vetiver is fantastic for that. So bergamot, lang lang, geranium. I'm not a fan of the smell of geranium. So I went with bergamot. But if you love geranium, geranium with a little bit of coconut oil straight downtown. For, that's for men and women. Sorry, I've got like products and books everywhere here. All right. So a great lubrication and massage oil. Again, reminder not to be used with condoms or any prophylactics. Lubrication and massage oil. You ready? Um, let's see. We want to put that in a 15 milliliter dropper bottle, right? 15 milliliter dropper bottle. And you can do, I like it a little stronger. So I would do five drops each lavender, geranium, lang lang. Five drops each, lavender, geranium, and lang lang. Topped with coconut oil, apply when and where needed. Lubrication and massage oil. Right. Um, for endurance, this is just a lovely topic. For endurance, for him, three drops rosemary, three drops sandalwood with fractionated coconut oil in a five milliliter roller. And he rolls his family jewels, or you can help him with that. Again, not a kid-friendly topic today, folks. Put the kids away. For her, geranium. So if you wanted to put it in a roller, you can do, um, I would probably do three to five drops geranium, coconut oil, and a five milliliter roller. And she rolls her special spot. All right, for both, lifelong vitality pack. And Mitomax, I don't have a bottle of Mitomax, I couldn't find it. Mitomax, we, the reason I can't find all my bottles all the time is we use a supplement container. I got this on Amazon, so we just have supplements in here. I need a refill. 
right? So um, Mitomax. So lots of benefits on Mitomax for sexual health for both. So I want to hear your testimonials on what you're using in your bedroom. Right. So lubrication and massage oil. Great recipe there. Um, for general attraction, one of my favorite oils that I discovered when I first started in doTERRA, Whisper. So Whisper, why does this work so well for libido and for women, right? One, it smells good. Key ingredient in it for sexual health is patchouli. I do the same thing with patchouli. It's thick, so it's in my... Do you know two of the best oils um, for stress relief and sexual health? And just about anything are the hippie oils. Anybody know what the two hippie oils are? The two hippie oils, the hippies knew what they were doing, folks. The two hippie oils are great for libido and sexual health. Ready, kid free zone today on this video. If you have kids with you, um, shut it off, watch back later. Sandalwood and patchouli. So the hippies knew what they were talking about. <laughs> My husband just came on and he's making inappropriate comments. Sandalwood and patchouli, all right? So Whisper has patchouli in it. I don't know if it has sandalwood in it. Okay, so Whisper's filled with all the oils that we've just been talking about. I never knew that. Ready? I need new glasses, so bear with me. Patchouli, bergamot, sandalwood, Rose, we're going to talk about that next. Jasmine, we're going to talk about that next. Cinnamon, vetiver, and lang lang. I did not know that. So Whisper's pretty much jam-packed with all the sex oils, folks. So what's really awesome about Whisper um, for women, it helps promote um, positive body image and self-confidence. Who doesn't need that in the bedroom? So whisper, whisper, whisper. So what I've done over the last year is I came up with a recipe. We call it our Yay Oils Happy Blend. And in a 10 milliliter roller, right, my 10 milliliter doTERRA roller, or a spray bottle. This is from doTERRA. It's a 30 milliliter spray bottle. They're super cheap now. I love that doTERRA offers these. Uh, do 10 drops, whisper. 10 drops balance, 10 drops citrus bliss, and 10 drops of elevation, all right? I use it every day, all day as my perfume. And it has those oils in it for positivity, lifting, anxiousness, sad feelings, just your mood lifter, your hormone balancer, your positive body image. Boom, one recipe. Use it all day. Pop them with fractionated coconut oil. If you do the spray, spray it directly on your body and massage it in. And, ooh, um, Juliet says whisper also makes for a stronger finale. See how fun and creative we're getting here? All right. Susan likes to use 10 drops passion and 5 drops whisper in a 10 milliliter roller. Pop it off with fractionated coconut oil, and she calls it love potion number 9. I'm going to steal that recipe. 10 drops passion, 5 drops whisper, fractionated coconut oil, and a 10 milliliter roller. I want to hear all your recipes, folks, for oils in the bedroom. All right. A lot of you are using whisper and passion. So passion's 10% off. Make sure you get it. Haha. -ha, Chelsea knew my hippie oils, right? So the hippie oils, why are they so... Um, Fantastic. Why were the hippies so happy? Uh, hormone balancing, mood balancing, takes all your stresses away, sexual health. Pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. A few of you knew that. Kathy, sandalwood and patchouli. Tanya knew it too, right? Sandalwood and patchouli, folks. Get them. Margaret likes Lang Lang. Kathy loves Whisper, Vetiver, and Patchouli. Isn't this fascinating? I just love learning this. All right, so for those of you that need hormone balancing on a regular basis from here on out, which is most of us, got a little secret for you. 
I don't know where the label went on my Clary Calm roller. I gotta smell this, make sure it's Clary Calm. Yeah, it's Clary Calm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't have a roller on my Clary Calm. Right. Women's health kit. Bone nutrient, phytoestrogen, Clary Calm roller. You get it as a set or individually. One of my members posted in our private Facebook group how her husband just wasn't comprehending the importance of what she was spending on her doTERRA. Now keep in mind, she was replacing her entire bathroom cabinet with doTERRA, so she was just replacing products that they already use on a regular basis, but he was seeing that it was coming from doTERRA and not the grocery store, and so he was concerned about how much she was spending on doTERRA. And she got the women's health kit, got her libido back within 30 days. He said, honey, you can spend as much as you want on doTERRA. Women's health kit. Hormone balancing. We all need this, ladies. Phytoestrogen, bone nutrient, and clary calm. Not just for getting your libido back when you're older. It's great for um, bone nutrient. has extra calcium, extra vitamin D. Phytoestrogen is good for every age. As soon as young ladies can start swallowing pills, Phytoestrogen is great for their erratic hormone balancing, those teenage years. Love, love, love it. All right, so women's health kit. All right, let's talk about some other easy peasy lemon squeezy rollers. Let's talk about men. Immortal. Who would have thought? So Immortal. Oh, I don't have a label on that. Immortal. I've got so much to tell you about Immortel. Grab your, grab a pen and paper. So Immortel anti-aging blend. You put it all over your face. You'll be able to see before and after pictures for Immortel. My friend Heidi from Chert had a um, black discoloration on her face about the size of a quarter. She had it in a few other spots on her body. It was from pregnancy. And it never went away. She had it three years later. Immortel ruled it. Um, forget the timeline, but I'll go post the pictures when I'm done. I'll post it back in here. Immortal. For men, roll this on lower abdomen, inner thighs. Uh, helps with circulation. It's great for prostate health. Great for libido. Here's another sidebar, non-bedroom topic. Eye pressure. So my mom recently had glaucoma surgery, and her eye pressure was unhealthy afterwards. We looked in the book. It said use Immortel anti-aging blend around the eyes. She's in Florida now. Healthy eye pressure post-glaucoma. So what's cool is she wanted to use it anyway around her eyes for fine lines and wrinkles. So it took care of both. She's loving it. All right. Susan says, I cannot cope without phytoestrogen. It is amazing. All right. What else? Veronica asks about estrogen for, um, so a lot of women with um, breast cancer, or pretty much a lot of us avoid soy. And phytoestrogen is a unique, safe, soy-based product that helps your body eliminate bad estrogens, all right? So I like to really explain that so that women don't see estrogen and say, oh, my doctor says I can't have that. This is the one you want. It helps your body prevent your body from absorbing the bad estrogens. This is the good estrogens. This is your superhero of estrogens. So yes, to answer Veronica's question, yes, you want to use doTERRA's phytoestrogen. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Everyone needs Immortel. I'm not going to lie, right? This is one of the greatest oils ever. I just had a spot. You'll probably be able to see it in last week's video. I just had a spot on my chest. Um, that needed to be looked at by a physician. 
So, and I was able to get an emergency appointment because um, my, uh, a history of my skin health, I was a redhead and I grew up with a swimming pool and no sunscreen. So I actually have, um, used to have stuff removed, um, precancerous, precancerous skin growths removed about every six months, right? I've had them taken off my face, my nose, my ears, my chest, my legs, everywhere. Um, so when anything new pops up, right, I immediately call. Well, guess what? I rolled a mortel on the new spot, right? And I actually walked into the term dermatologist and, um, I was at the standing in line for the desk, went like this to see how the spot was doing that day. It was gone. So I canceled my appointment at the dermatologist while I was there. I just canceled it on the spot. It was gone. Immortal. So I like to rub this, um, massage it in to anything on my skin that is not um, what I like to consider normal. So as you start to age, if you have moles or spots that pop up that are crusty, um, they, there's a name for those, and those are really, really, really early signs of um, skin cancer. So I like to use, for skin health, Immortel, anywhere that my skin needs to be a little healthier. Okay? Please go to your dermatologist on a regular basis and have skin checks. I'm a big fan. Yes, um, someone asked if the soy was non-GMO in the phytoestrogen, and yes, it is. Ooh, Paige has a great recipe, Expacy Extender Massage Blend. In a spray bottle, one to two drops geranium, cinnamon, ginger, pink pepper, and peppermint, and fill the rest with fractionated coconut oil. Tried and true, husband approved, and edible. Thanks, Paige. Isn't this fun? All right. So awesome sauce. I want to hear your testimonials for the Women's Health Kit, Phytoestrogen, um, and Immortel because those are su super important to get into our um, daily life for skin health, for um, anti-aging, for hormone balancing. All right, let's begin. We've talked about patchouli and sandalwood. Those are great oils for men, right? So for men, those are great oils for endurance. They're also good uh, for attraction. To attract her, what kind of smells do women love? Well, go through your oils and smell them all and just see what you love and use that. But to attract her, right, men can wear bergamot, sandalwood, vetiver. In a five milliliter roller, I would do three drops each, bergamot, sandalwood, vetiver, or you can mix it up and do them alone. Just figure out what scents you love. All right, so sandalwood, vetiver. Let's talk about, we have, I'm going to read from the Essential Life book. This is a great book as well. I love books. I buy all the books. All right, so this recipe is called Giddy Up, and it's for men. And this is the one where you're going to apply Immortel to the genital area two to three times daily, okay? Encourages and stimulates hormonal balance, all right? You can also do one drop sandalwood, two drops clary sage, one drop lang lang, and apply topically on the lower abdomen, and then also diffuse it, and you can also take it internally in a gel capsule. You know what we should do, folks? We should come up with a dropper recipe for that one because you can um, use it topically and take it internally. And you know I hate making veggie caps because they're too much work. So I'll figure out a recipe for that. I'm going to guess like um, 20 drops sandalwood, 40 drops clary sage, 20 drops Lang Lang in a 15 milliliter dropper bottle. Tap it with your MCT oil that's ingestible. And you can just do a dropper full and apply it topically on the lower abdomen or take it internally in a gel capsule. This is for men called Giddy Up. Circulation, right? We already talked about how men need circulation for this topic. Apply one to two drops cypress 
or aroma touch to inner thighs and lower abdomen. So that's why that aroma touch is so fantastic. For women, it helps de stress. For men, it increases circulation. Anxi anxiousness and stress relief. Diffuse basil, lavender, or lang lang. This is for men, for the giddy up. Inhale it in your cup pan or put a few drops on your pillow. So I am really digging this monstrous spray bottle from doTERRA. Any guesses as to what one of the ingredients is in it? Bergamot. I'm obsessed with bergamot. Oh my. Right? So make pillow sprays, sheet sprays, bedroom sprays. I like this super fine mist. I don't know if you can see it. See how super fine that is? I don't know if the video, video quality is enough, but this would be um, a great one to make a bedroom spray. So you could do your passion. You did passion and whisper in here. You could do like 40 drops passion, 20 drops whisper. And I mean, this thing's enormous, folks. It's gonna last forever. And that would be a great bedroom spray. You could spray it on your body or you could spray it on your sheets. Um, I just refill that with water. I don't use coconut oil in that. All right, for men to support um, giddy up and healthy nutrition, make sure you're taking the Lifelong Vitality Pack and Mitomax. So help your gents get into a regular routine, regular routine of the Lifelong Vitality Pack and Mitomax for them. All right, I'm going to see if there's any other recipes I want to share with you. So for both men and women, um, this is a great recipe. It's called Get It Going. Three drops sandalwood, three drops wild orange, and three drops lang lang in a five milliliter roller. So just double that for your 10 milliliter. Roll it on pulse points, lower abdomen, inside of upper thighs, and inhale. And then two drops of each in a diffuser. So basically, it was my very first recipe that I ever found, which was wild orange and lang lang, and they're just saying to add sandalwood to it. All right, I want to hear your recipes. Here's a great tip. Women over 50, I'm going to chime in with 40 because my issues started earlier. You should always have Lifelong Vitality Pack, Deep Blue Pills, PB Assist, Mitomat, the women's health kit, and a bottle of lavender. Susan's right. She was guessing. One of my ingredients in here is spearmint. So this is my favorite sprayer right now, bergamot, spearmint, and cassia. M amazing. It's just amazing. Ooh, this is a great testimonial. So I should have thought of this, and I didn't. So Josie's been using Melissa oil daily for the last two weeks, and she's been having some pretty good Valentine-style dreams, and her husband couldn't be happier. Didn't know Melissa could help there. I didn't either, but that totally makes sense. So we love to encourage people to use Melissa every day. Drop on your tongue. It helps relaxation, stress, feelings of overwhelm. Obviously, it helps with Valentine's type dreams. Yay! Um, she also just used our intimacy handout for a fun little get together with friends and she did a make and take last week and everyone was so excited to make those recipes. Awesome. Love, love, love it. So a couple other oils that I learned that are great for libido. I want to make sure that I hit libido in um, every book. All right. So passion. We've already talked about that. Lang Lang. Clary Calm, Jasmine and Rose. All right, so these are my three faves. I got multiple reasons for loving these three babies. All right, Jasmine, Rose, Neroli. So I discovered um, their benefits for sexual health on accident. I learned at convention that these Three babies are good for anti-aging, and I'm obsessed with that right now, right? I'm going to be 47 um, next week, so I'm all about the anti-aging. And skin. So I roll these all over my face, neck and, and chest, and I just alternate them. One night I'll do rose, and they're all next to my bed. My favorite's Neroli. I'm just obsessed with it. It sits next to my recliner. 
This is next to my recliner, and I roll it every single night. I sit there and roll it and smell it. I'll roll it under my nose so I can keep smelling it. I'll roll it all over my face while I'm watching TV. And then other nights, I'll do yarrow palm, jasmine, rose. But I first discovered the sexual health with neroli, jasmine, and rose because I was rolling them on my face every night. And I had a shift in that department. And that's when I started researching and learning that everybody uses these for female sexual health, hormone balancing, and increasing the desire for that. All right. Forgive oil was an interesting learn when I went through the books. Forgive renewing blend. And so this is an oil that also sits next to my couch. I started using it um, for emotional reasons. I have a, um, used to have a tendency to harbor ill will towards others and hold onto that. The good news is it fueled my fire and it's made me super successful. The bad news is I need to forgive people. And so it actually helped me do that. But in my research on intimacy and oils in the bedroom, I found in the Essential Life book, that forgive oil is great for libido. It's good for men. Um, libido for men. The inhibition of a man's sex drive or natural desire for sexual activity. Lang Lang, patchouli, passion, cinnamon, and forgive. So isn't that fascinating? All right. So for women, Lang Lang, Clary Calm, Jasmine, passion and clary sage. So clary sage is one we've talked about a little bit. It's in the giddy up for men, but it's great for men and women. So my two favorite, let's talk about some bedtime um, preparation recipes. So I like to um, take a bath at night to relax. And up until um, this week, as my friend told me about using vetiver. Um, up until this week when I started using vetiver, I have always used clary sage or aromatouch. And we've learned that both of those are good for pre-bedroom relaxation for women. So I do 10 drops clary sage in one cup of some salts and throw it in the bath. Or I do 10 drops aromatouch and do the same thing. One cup of some salts and throw it in the bath. But now you've learned you can do that same thing with a lot of these oils. Lang Lang. I just lost it. Passion. I got stuff everywhere. Sandalwood. Patchouli. Vetiver. You can probably do it with more, but I'm wanting to make sure none of those oils are skin irritants in a hot bath. Um... Lang Lang, geranium, passion, sandalwood, patchouli, vetiver, clary sage, aroma touch. These are already in rollers, neroli, jasmine, and rose. So I wouldn't go to the trouble of popping the top off and putting them in the bath. Um, but if you happen to have any of these in the straight oils, rose and jasmine, a few of us have gotten as gifts from doTERRA in the past, those would be great in the bath, right? They're not cheap, but... So just do a couple drops. But for a regular routine, neroli, jasmine, rose, mortels also in my um, rotation for all over the face. And all are good for libido and sexual health. Maintaining a healthy libido. All right, I want to read your comments. Jane loves neroli, and she just got her passion. Josie uses vetiver on a regular basis. For her family in the diffuser. All right. A lot of women use this is the hormone balancing answer. I'll say some people say 50 plus, but I'm gonna say 40 plus for those of us that have started early, right? The hormone balancing answer, women's health kit, bone nutrient, natural hormone therapy. Phytoestrogen, bone nutrient, clary calm, ladies. That's your answer right there. Don't do any invasive things in that department as you age, please. All right, so great tips on oils for the bedroom and all of these wonderful books, right? Love it, love it, love it. So hope you have an awesome Valentine's Day. Let's give away some fun gifts. Uh, 
Let's do some freebies. We got lots of rewards this week. So on the Yay Oils team, that's my team of oilers that help others learn about doTERRA. Um, we like to give gifts to our teammates. So this week we have some team giveaways. And where'd they go? Here we go. And what we do is anybody on our team that orders in the monthly rewards program, the subscription box, that's the best way to order. They get all their shipping refunded. Minimum orders a dollar, and they earn 10 to 30% back on qualifying um, orders, right? So we also like to tell them thanks for being a loyal customer. So we have lots of giveaways today. One of our members was really generous to her friends. So these are people that share doTERRA with others on our team. So Kelly Bird is giving away gifts to the following folks. And Kelly will get with you on your gift. Amy Ummel, Jima Carolyn, Heather Gibson, and Kathy Dreyer. They're all getting um, a free five milliliter oil from Kelly Bird. And Kelly has um, different oils for each of you, probably because she knows what you love and want. So she will get with you on that. So nice Kelly. Kelly's really generous. She has four friends getting free oils this week. Mary Crawford is getting free $20 in oil of her choice from her friend Carol Lippert. I have a couple giveaways as well. Erica Craycraft won free baby shampoo. It's hair and body wash and it's the baby line. Um, this is no longer available right now. It's coming back out in the spring. As soon as it comes back, you want to get it. It's baby wash, diaper rash cream. Funny, we're talking about this in the oils of the bedroom day. Diaper rash cream and baby lotion. But Erica, I will get with that and set up a time for you to grab that hair and body wash. And then Yvonne Ricky won a balanced bath bar from me. All right, so I think that's everything that we talked about today. I will post some um, information about the 30-day cleanse so everyone can continue with that and have some good tips. I'll post a few of these recipes. Be sure to read all the comments in the Facebook group, Yay Oils Public Education, for this Live with Lisa video from February 14th, 2019, so that you can get these recipes out of the comments, because I won't be able to repost them all. So if you're re-watching this on YouTube, please join our Facebook group, Yay Oils Public Education. You can go to the search this group bar or click on videos until you get to February 14th. All right, so um, I will post the link for your oil magic book so you can get that. I'll post links for some dropper bottles that you can get off of Amazon so you can make your lubrication and massage oil. You can make your giddy up recipe for men um, to use topically or internally. And if you have any questions, uh, post them in the comments. And I hope everybody has an awesome Valentine's Day. Thanks so much. Happy oiling. Bye.